SEC libero of the year serving for Kentucky. We are underway. Penn State wearing white, Kentucky in the black, and Cleefoot cannot sell or cannot save that killer swing from McClendon. Penn State's plan is to try to get everyone involved, spread Kentucky out as best they can. They want to set to both pins. They're going to start on the left, and we'll see if they go the other direction here. And here is the dangerous Micah Hancock with the serve, and Penn State is out to a quick 2-0 lead. Miss hit by Kentucky, and on the other side, Penn State ready for it. And for the Wildcats, they knew they had to serve well and play great defense, not the same physical size as Penn State at the net. Hancock, Big Ten setter of the year, but also that lethal serve, that one goes out. She had coming into this match, 74 aces, 107 errors, so that's sort of to be expected. Players who have big serves usually will make some mistakes as well. Russ Rose told us that when Micah Hancock has been off with her, set, her serving and her blocking, the team has struggled a little bit this year. Going serving for Kentucky, and that one is off the hands of a pair of Wildcats. Penn State point. Penn State looked to Nia Grant earlier, and that time went to Ariel Scott. They want to use as many of their hitters as they can. They really want to cause some problems for Kentucky on the other side. McClendon from Louisville trying to get back to her home city for the national semifinals, able to save that one in. Hancock had to get her over the net. Block by Morgan to keep it alive for Kentucky. Now we're going to set it up for Megan Courtney, the talented freshman for Penn State. They get another point. And that's an error for Kentucky that just can't happen. You have to play your cleanest match out there, Pam. And for right now, for the Wildcats, miscommunication. Those are little things that they can clean up. Maybe just a little bit of jitters here to start this one. Kentucky finishing third in the SEC during the regular season. And that one is set up a little tip by Billings. Now Megan Courtney sent it back. And that is out. And a swing by Lauren O'Connor, a little bit too much on it. The Wildcats keep looking to Lauren O'Connor, and she's a player that played almost every match last year. She's really been on the last few weeks, and they said she's going to be a key if she can get her kills to work. That's 16 kills in the upset win over Ohio State. McClendon with the service error. Gives Kentucky its second point. First team to 25 wins the set, but you must win by at least two points. Talked about Whitney Billings for Kentucky as an all-around player, and we also see Lauren O'Connor, multiple six-position players for Kentucky. That's a big plus when you have players that can play everywhere for you. Courtney has it blocked down. Good combination. Hartman and Morgan up front. Perfect timing by the Wildcats block. They're not a big blocking team, but they worked on this in practices yesterday, and Coach Skinner said, you've got to get hip to hip, and they were there. Morgan was a high jumper at Kentucky her freshman year before she decided to totally concentrate on volleyball. And boy, that's a mistake. You don't see much from Ariel Scott. It's a couple of plays in a row, though, for Penn State, where we've seen them have to give a free ball. That time it was going to be another free ball situation, but they don't even get it over. Connor with the serve. Hancock setting it up for McClendon, who hits it from the back row. Morgan with a thunderous swing. That's her favorite. Zan Morgan loves the slide. She loves to go back around the setter. She gets the back set. Perfect timing. She gets up on one foot, and the block wasn't quite sure. Didn't go for it, and she had an open look. Service error by O'Connor, so Kentucky had tied it. Penn State forges a, there's O'Connor going out right now as Penn State gets the point to forge ahead. O'Connor Pam at 6'5", it takes away a little bit of that size that they might need against Penn State. Dominic Gonzalez in the barrel for Penn State with the serve, blocked down by big Katie Slay, who is up front, number 16 in white. Sherman has to get it over and does. Hancock setting it up for Scott. Kept alive by Billings, and then Slay is there just to put it in. 
Great decision by Katie Slay. Very smart up in the air. That pass coming over to her, and she was ready. She's really become more of an offensive threat, but that's just a quick decision she had to make. Big time blocker for Penn State. Tallest player on the court at 6'6". She was second in the Big Ten in hitting percentage to Tori Dixon from Minnesota, who we will see in our next match against Purdue. And Dallas serves that one into the net. Hanging in. Two, subbing out right now for Kentucky as Alexandra Morgan goes back to serve. Couple of service errors now for Penn State. And as you can play the ball off the net in volleyball and like tennis on the serve. Frazier off Slay's hands. Wildcats tie it up again. Well, SEC last year, Ashley Frazier, the transfer out of Alabama. Led the team in kills. Has had a little bit of a different role this year, but has had some big moments. That's it. Go, go. Well, Megan Courtney, number 17, the Big Ten Freshman of the Year. Quick jump and a, a whip of a swing on her, uh, on her arm. Not a big deal, but you see the quickness. She was able to get that ball off before the block had a chance to seal off. A lot of talent. Coach Russ Rose, very impressed with this young player. She was the Big Ten Freshman of the Year. And she has the best basketball I or volleyball IQ on this team. And there's a kill for Kayla Tronic, who was just inserted. Freshman, freshman middle. And we talk about quicks. That quick worked. Penn State's block has not been able to get their system going, and Kentucky's been able to take advantage. Set up for Slay. Frazier sends it back. This time they go to the other side to Courtney. Leafoot with a good save. Boy, and Slay was calling for it at the net. Kentucky with Frazier coming up with another big play. And the Wildcats lead. And right now, Pam, the Wildcats in an advantage because they are working the ball around. They've gone to multiple scores. They've gone to multiple hitters on both sides, and they've taken it to the middle. It's very tough to figure out right now for Penn State what they're going to do with their block. Terrific play to keep it alive by Greenberg. And that one's out. Kentucky up by two. I think they're going to call a net violation against the Wildcats. Otherwise... Craig Skinner's team would have extended that lead. That is indeed what happens. So give the point instead to Penn State as Courtney comes up with the serve. And then another kill for Trotty. From Hutchinson, Minnesota, the hometown of Lindsey Whalen, a basketball superstar from that part of the country. She's been adjusting to Division I college volleyball, but done it very well. Seven kills against Ohio State in the middle has been there for Kentucky. And there's an ace for Ashley Frazier. That nice jump serve and put it in. Serving and defense, the two key areas for Kentucky in this one. And a big serve, the 27th ace on the season for Ashley Frazier. 18th in the Big Ten and aces during the regular year. Set up for O'Connor. Billings with the swing and the points. Kentucky's done an excellent job. They go out to the left side, they've taken it to the middle, and now they go out to the right side and find Whitney Billings. Multiple options, and right now there is no Penn State block. It has yet to get itself established. Penn State down by three here in the first set. Billings again is able to get the point. And they are fired up. They said they were not intimidated at all in playing Penn State, and they've come out on fire. Working both pins, the Wildcats have mixed it up very well. And on the other side for Penn State, they've been trying to find Katie Slay and get her more active and more involved. But they just have not been able to get the middle working. The Russ Rose's team, the passing has been a little bit off as well, which has not led to a good system. They go across this time to McClendon. Another net violation against the Wildcats. 
Those are the things that'll hurt Craig Skinner's team. Again, you've got to play your cleanest against a team like Penn State, a team that's only lost two matches the entire season. Kristen Carpenter, the senior captain, one of only two seniors on this Penn State team in to serve. Billings tipped it over. Set it up for McClendon. Very nicely placed. His napper could not get to it. That was not an easy pass for Micah Hancock to set for Deja McClendon.